Well, good evening. I'm Ben Swan, and welcome to this special half-hour reality check. We are just about 10 days away from Super Tuesday and the Ohio Republican primary. And that is why tonight we are giving you a look at the positions of the four Republican candidates and where they stand on three major issues. Now, throughout the evening, you can tweet comments about this program to at Fox 19 Ben Swan. I'll respond to some of those tweets throughout the evening as well. Now, we are taking a look at a new report on each of the candidates' proposed budgets, how they plan to cut the national debt, as well was the ongoing federal deficit. We're also talking about gas prices and what these candidates propose to do about the soaring cost of gasoline. And finally, we're looking at where these candidates stand on the threat of Iran. And to be clear, we are comparing notes based on the answers the candidates gave in Wednesday night's CNN Republican debate in Arizona. We also have invited Hamilton County Republican Party Chairman Alex Triantafilu to join us tonight so we can really break down each of these three topics and what Ohio Republicans are looking for. But first, our $16 trillion debt. You know, it's on the minds of a lot of voters. President Obama just unveiled his proposed $3.8 trillion budget, which includes about $1.7 trillion in deficit spending. It is the third consecutive budget that runs a trillion plus dollar deficit. So where do Republican candidates stand on their plans and how would they reduce that deficit? Let's take a look. four Republican candidates and four different economic spending plans. A new report released by the Nonpartisan Committee for a Responsible Federal Budget in Washington has run the numbers and here's what they found. All but one candidate's plan would actually increase the deficit. Well, when I was speaker, as I'm sure he remembers, we balanced the budget for four consecutive years for the only time in his lifetime. Let's start with former Speaker of the House Newt Gingrich. His plan would add the most with tax and spending policies that would actually increase the debt by $7 trillion by the year 2021. That's what the report says. Gingrich would reduce the government's income the most with his proposal to create a new 15% flat tax that would cost the Treasury about $3.4 trillion, according to the analysis. Also, his calls to cut the top corporate income tax rate to 12.5% from 35%, to eliminate capital gains taxes, and in the estate tax would cost trillions more. Now, his biggest spending cut is a proposal to reduce funding for the more than 100 programs benefiting the poor that would save an estimated $2.4 trillion. I put together uh, a specific plan uh, that cuts $5 trillion over five years that spends less money each year for the next four years that I'll be president of the United States. As for former Pennsylvania Senator Rick Santorum's plan, well, according to the analysis, it would add $4.5 trillion. Santorum's plan would add to the deficit by reducing the number of individual income tax brackets to two from six, with rates set at 28% and 10%. He would also eliminate the corporate income tax for manufacturers while cutting it to 17.5% for other businesses. Now, those proposals would together divert more than $5 trillion in revenue from the Treasury, according to the report. Santorum would make up some of that, about $500 billion or so, by adopting a Medicare voucher program similar to the one proposed by House Budget Committee Chairman Paul Ryan. Well, number one, I, vote, I said today that we're going to cut taxes on everyone across the country by 20 percent, including the top one percent. So that's number one. Number two, I said yes, we should increase the debt ceiling in this last vote, but only if we have a cut cap and balance provision put in place. Now let's talk about former Governor Mitt Romney. Romney's plan would add $2.6 trillion by 2021, the group says. Though it also noted that the estimate is a little less certain here because many of the details of his tax proposals are pretty vague. His campaign said that the plan would not add to the deficit because it would replace the lost revenue by clamping down on individual tax preferences. I argue for the case of the responsibility being on the Congress, but it's the responsibility of us who believe in fiscal conservatives to vote against the bill. We need a vote against the spending is what we need to do. Now, the only plan that would actually cut the deficit, according to the report, that of Texas Congressman Ron Paul. Only Representative Paul's plan would more than cover the cost of his tax cuts with spending reductions, the group says. Paul also has proposed $5.2 trillion in tax cuts over the next decade and $7.5 trillion in reduced spending, which would cut the debt by 2021 by more than $2 trillion. By contrast, Paul's tax and spending plans would improve the budget outlook by marrying tax cuts with even larger spending reductions. He would cut defense spending, including 
ending immediately military operations in Afghanistan. He's also proposed eliminating five cabinet agencies and rolling back spending on Medicaid, food stamps and other programs for the poor back to 2006 levels. So here's what you need to know. This is a tough issue, certainly. And surprisingly, many Americans seem to be tuning it out. You know, candidates talk about the threat of Iran and the threat of terrorism, but the amount of debt this country has accumulated at $16 trillion in rising, well, that certainly may be our greatest threat. In fact, this may be the single most important issue of the next five years at least in this country, because our deficit and borrowing is fast approaching a point of no return. Our money is on the verge of being worthless. Think about what that means. Americans have got to wake up. And that is Reality Check. Alex Triantafilo with the Hamilton County Republican Party here to talk about issues of the budget. How important is this issue, Alex, to Ohio Republicans? Well, we, you know, we have a tremendous uh, budget deficit. Yeah. And it sometimes feels like the American people are oblivious to what's actually occurring. Uh, this $16 trillion debt needs to be addressed. I think uh, conservative Republicans are ready to address it where this president is not. Uh, how, how do you go about addressing this? Because we were talking about this right now, and, and uh, you know, when uh, Governor Romney was here, I think it was earlier this week, he mentioned about wanting to you know, cut the deficit this year by $1 trillion if he were to take office. So that would be in 2013. And yet, he didn't give very many specifics. That is a huge number. Now, Congressman Paul, obviously, his plan is pretty detailed. But how do these other candidates put out a plan that clearly articulates how they would go about cutting at least $1.8 trillion starting off this next year in order to overcome and not be in that deficit spending from day one. Well, it's a challenge, and a lot of these plans are not accounting for a growth in the economy that will generate more revenue. So uh, your question is, how do they do it? I mean, they, they, I think the American people should demand a plan, not only of the Republican candidates, but of the president. And I'll tell you, the president's recent budget denied the reality of what's actually occurring with these budget deficits. So, uh, look, I think you're right. Ron Paul does have an interesting plan. Uh, the, the challenge for someone like Ron Paul would be getting it through the Congress. It will be very difficult to get it through the Congress, obviously. That's been a, a challenge for uh, the current president in working with the Congress as well. Let's take that graphic real quick, too. I wanted to show this to you uh, very quickly, how the uh, Ohio polls versus national polls are showing. Santorum right now, obviously, is up. Romney, Gingrich, and then Paul. In Ohio, he's polling at 9% compared to 11 nationally. However, this polling data is all before the latest debate. Do you think any of this will change after uh, the debate? Well, you know, Ben, we've seen these polls go up and down and all over the place, and I think the most dangerous thing to do in this climate is to make any predictions, but I'll tell you that I think this thing is going to get very tight in Ohio, and I expect you'll see a, a very close race, really between Romney and Santorum, as we come down to the wire. Sounds good. All right, Alex, uh, thank you for that. Stick around, because uh, gas prices, just ridiculous right now. Estimates that we could see $5 a gallon by summer. In fact, some parts of the country already are. So what would these Republican candidates do to bring down the price of gas? Is that the job of the president? Who's got a plan? Who doesn't? We tackle that next.